All right. This can prove to be a difficult task, but pairing edges. Uh, it is probably one of my least favorite parts of doing these cubes. But if you want to solve it, you got to do it. So, one of the things that's nice about the 5x5 is it also has to find edges, pieces, but we got to put two around it, unlike the 4x4 where it's just pairing two next to each other. So, I'm going to start out looking. I see this yellow and blue one. And right here I see a yellow and blue one. So, I'm just going to put this out of the way, like that, and move this one up. <clears throat> so, somewhat, they're across from each other, as you can see. And in this type, I'll show you what to do, because on the camera, everything is backwards, so. Alright. Move. Since this is the center edge one, you move the bottom two layers this way, toward this one. And then you move the one with this piece, which is in our case is R, up. So right side up, front counterclockwise, top clockwise, right side down, front clockwise, the bottom layers back to their original position. And what we've accomplished is these two are now paired. Now, there's one more piece, obviously, and I found it, it's right here, yellow and blue. So, again, I'm just going to set up the same situation where they're across from each other like this. Obviously, it's different this time. So, <clears throat> sorry, I got it cold. You got to move these two layers, the bottom two, or you can just do this bottom layer. It doesn't really matter, but I find it easier to move the two. So those two in the direction of this which in this case is toward the left left side up front clockwise first this time top counter right side or er, left side down front counterclockwise and then the bottom two back into their original position or the other way and now as you see we have these three paired and you go around doing that for every single edge. And it gets to be long. It can be long, but, um, yeah, you just do it. I mean, my first 5x5 solve took about 20 minutes because I had to figure out how to do it. Because I didn't know. But, okay. So we got this piece and this piece. The white, red, white, red. So this time, it's to the left again. So the bottom two layers that way. Side up, front clockwise, top counter, left side down, front counter, goes back. See, now we got those two paired up. And I'm just going to do this several more times because, you know, just making sure everybody's got it. So, again, I'm going to put white in red across from white and red <coughs> another commonly asked thing is if red can be red can be on this side and white can be over here but white's got to be facing the same direction so now it's over on this side so we're going to move the bottom two layers to the right side up front counterclockwise top sorry clockwise Right side down, front clockwise, bottom two layers to the left now. Now we got three. Three of them paired. Okay. So we managed to get the reds, the reds and whites, and the blues and yellows. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So now we're just going to go for look for another two or whatever we want to do next. So I see these blues and oranges right away. And I see here's the last blue and orange. Now I just got to do it. So orange is facing up and it's across from these two. And that's easy. You just put it out of the way. 
it's kind of orienting it so it's in a different direction. Now, putting it across from those two. <coughs> it's kind of, it can be difficult, you know, getting it facing the right way and everything. I found it to be when I started, but, you know, it's something you kind of get used to. So, here's oranges and blues, orange and blue. It's to the left this time again, so, um, two layers that way. Left side up, front clockwise, top count, or, yeah, counter, sorry. Left side down, front counter, and the bottom two layers, to the right this time. So now we got all those paired up again. And so that's basically how you do that. Um, I could go through all these, and I'll probably go through two more with you, and then... I'll just leave it at that because you know the way to do it then. So, I line them up again. Blue, red, blue, red. <coughs> so it's going to be the bottom two layers this way. Or to the right, whatever one this piece is. And then go right side up, front counterclockwise, top clockwise, right side down. Front clockwise, bottom two layers back. See, got those two paired up, and now let's see here. The last one for these, this pair, blue, red, blue, red. So, all I have to do is do the same algorithm. Those two, the bottom two layers, this way, toward this. Then the left side up, front, clockwise, top, counterclockwise, left side down, front, or left, down, sorry, or whatever you saw, sorry, I wasn't paying attention, but it's the same thing, and you just do it over and over and over again until you got all of them paired up, and once you do, we can move on to the next stage. <clears throat> but actually one more thing before we go on to the next stage I'm going to uh, make another quick it's kind of like an in between the two steps video just in case you get a certain parody okay so yeah watch the next video